Now to a GMA health alert about birth control and breast cancer. A new study in the New England Journal of Medicine says women who use the pill may face a higher risk. Dr. Ashton, you got to explain this to us Big right story. now. This is the actual study hot off the presses. It came out of Denmark. They looked at 1.8 million women, followed them for 10 years, found that those women who took hormonal contraception, and this includes the progesterone-releasing IUD, as well as the newer generation low-dose birth control pills, face, take a look at the numbers, up to a 20 to 21 percent increased associated risk of breast cancer. The hard numbers that I want people to know about, that results in 13 more cases of breast cancer for every 100,000 women. But the real number I want to stick out in people's minds, Robin, because so many young women and teenagers mm -hmm. take the pill and are using the IUD, this only increases the risk in that age group of two extra cases for 100,000 women under the age of 35 because breast cancer is uncommon in that age. That is very key to, yeah. to put that up. But okay, still, people are going to be, women are going to be very, yep. very concerned about this because it is a method that women use a lot. Right. And you have to remember the, the benefits. We talk about risks and we talk about benefits. Take a look at the list. There are a plethora of benefits to hormonal contraception, ranging from obviously a very effective way of preventing pregnancy. They are known to lower the risk of ovarian, uterine, and colorectal cancer. They are the mainstay of how we manage conditions like polycystic ovarian syndrome and endometriosis. They are very effective for treating acne and they help women with their periods. So we can't throw out the baby with the bathwater, mm -hmm. so to speak, with this. You are board certified OBGYN. What's your advice? Listen, I think this is a significant, important study. I think it has to be interpreted in the proper context. I think women need to remember the risk, benefits, and options. I think what's important about this study is the, the risk is different based on the woman's age and the duration of use. So a woman in their 40s who faces a higher risk of breast cancer may want to consider other methods. And if you're going to discontinue hormonal contraception because of this, I would recommend you stop drinking alcohol as well because that increases your risk. It has to be a conversation. And Robin, my 18-year-old daughter is on the pill. I'm not going to recommend that she stop. Mm, okay. You heard important it here. Stuff, it yeah. is important yeah. stuff. And people should talk to their talk to their children and talk to their doctors. It's a dialogue. Yeah, it is, it is a dialogue. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.